Hello everyone, I am Professor Anish Vora and I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study about induction furnace. The principle of induction furnace, different types of induction furnace, advantage and disadvantage of each type of induction furnace and application of induction furnace. Now let us start with principle of induction furnace. Current induced in the charge by electromagnetic induction and that is why the name is given as an induction furnace. Charge or the metal to be heated that worked as a short circuit at secondary. When current flows in the primary, it induces a large amount of the current in the charge which develops heat. We have different types of induction furnace and if we classify, we have broadly two different types of induction furnace that is core type or low frequency induction furnace and core less type or high frequency induction furnace. In core type, we have again two different category that is horizontal core type as well as vertical core type. We will study core type as well as core less type induction furnace. We start with core type induction furnace that is low frequency type of induction furnace and we start with horizontal core type. Now if we see the construction of the horizontal core type induction furnace then in the figure we can see that it is almost a transformer. In the transformer we have iron core and on one of the limb we have primary winding to which we have to give assay supply. On the opposite limb we have crucible attached and in the crucible we can use the charge or the metal to be heated and that will act as a short circuit at secondary. Horizontal core type induction furnace consists of a transformer in which charge is to be heated, forms a single turn short circuited secondary and is magnetically coupled to the primary by iron core. The furnace consists of a V-shaped crucible which contains the charge to be melted. And if we see the working of the horizontal core type of induction furnace, we have to give AC supply to the primary winding. When we give AC supply to the primary winding, alternating flux is generated in the iron core because of magnetically both the winding, primary winding as well as secondary short circuited winding and that is our charge, both are magnetically coupled and that is why EMF induced in the secondary and current flows through the short circuit at secondary. That current when flow through the charge, it produces I square R losses that is heat and that heat can be used for melting of the charge. We have certain disadvantage of the horizontal core type of induction furnace. One of the disadvantage that is a poor magnetic coupling between primary winding as well as secondary charge. And that is why we have low temperature and the slow heating process as well as increased leakage reactance and power factor is very low. To improve the power factor, normally the AC supply we provide that is with very low frequency. Normally we have 10 cycles per second. And to start the furnace, complete ring of charge is essential. If current density is large, 
there is always a possibility of swelling of charge and that is known as a pinch effect all the shape of crucible and then production is very difficult horizontal core type of induction furnace it is not suitable for intermittent services application melting and the refining of small quantity matter alloys but normally nowadays horizontal core type of induction furnace are almost obsolete then we have modified design of core type of induction furnace and that is known as a vertical core type of induction furnace if we see the construction in the figure we can see the construction of the vertical core type of induction furnace we have vertical v channel in which we have charge in the v channel we have fire bricks as well as a refractory material that is a refractory lining here we have charge primary winding is provided the furnace is also known is a ajax wired furnace and it consists of vertical crucible instead of horizontal type of crucible for the charge and because of its shape we say with the smallest amount of charge also the short circuited secondary can be possible the shell of the furnace is of heavy steel the top is closed by an insulated cover which can be removed for charging and we have trap door is provided to pour the charge in molten position working is almost similar the molten matter is kept circulated around the v crucible by convection current the v channel is so narrow that even a small quantity of charge keeps the secondary circuit closed the tendency of the secondary circuit to rupture due to pinch effect is counteracted by the weight of the charge in the crucible so pinch effect can be avoided in the vertical core type of induction furnace we have certain advantage over a horizontal core type of induction furnace small quantity of charge is sufficient to start the furnace because of v shape pinch effect is not observed proper mixing due to steering effect power factor is high efficiency is also high consistent performance and uniform costing we have certain disadvantage also in case of vertical core type of induction furnace it is not suitable for intermittent operation if we see the application of vertical core type of furnace then we can say it is highly suitable for non ferrous type of metals precise melting and refining of non ferrous metal is possible in vertical core type of uh, induction furnace then our next category is core less type of induction furnace or it is known as a high frequency induction furnace if we see the construction in this type of induction furnace iron core is not provided we have a crucible which is made of ceramic it can be of any shape charge is filled in the crucible and around the crucible we have a primary winding primary winding is normally the hollow type and it can be water circulated for the cooling purpose this furnace consists of primary coil ceramic crucible containing charge which forms the secondary and frame which includes support and tilting mechanism it also consists of 
no heavy iron core with the result there is no continuous path for the magnetic flux the crucible and the coil are relatively light in construction and can be conveniently tilted for the pouring now let us see the working of the coilless type of induction furnace we as usual provide ac supply to the primary and that is with the very high frequency eddy current flows through the charge and we can use this eddy current to heat the charge up to the melting point we have certain advantage of coilless type of induction furnace very low operating cost better temperature control suitable for melting precious metal even in vacuum like gold and silver no contamination of charge no pollution steering effect and because of steering effect we have uniform mixing we have certain disadvantage also initial or capital cost is very high and if we see the application because of its very best temperature control and uniform mixing we can use coilless type of induction furnace for high grade steel production we can use coilless induction furnace for small size steel alloys also and melting of precious metals we always use coilless type of induction furnace thank you for watching my video keep watching thank you very much